Today I'm going to show you how I like to sew two pieces of crochet work together invisibly. This technique is ideal for blankets or any crochet item that you wish to have a clean backside to. I have a basic square shaped here made out of half double crochets that I'm going to use for my background. I then have a circle here that I'll use as my applique to sew on. When you look at a crochet stitch, it usually has two layers to it. It has a top layer and a back layer. And what we're going to do is on the applique, we're going to use the back layer of the stitch to sew to the top layer of the background. You'll notice if I come to the back of my applique, I can grab two strands of yarn from the back half of my single crochet. If I grab those two strands of yarn and turn my work over, you can't really see my needle at all. If I grab the front two strands of a crochet stitch, same thing. If I turn that work over, you're not going to be able to see my needle. This is the technique that we're going to use as we sew this circle around. I like to make sure it's placed correctly and then I pick it up and hold it in place as I sew. I typically start by grabbing my applique pieces. I'm going to grab the back half, the back two strands, or the back layer of my single crochet and pull the yarn through. And then I'm going to lay it down and look at where it lines up on my background. And then I'm going to thread my neat yarn needle through the top layer, grabbing only these two strands of the half double crochet and pull that through. Now, if you fold this over, it lines up. The next two stitches are going to be right here of the single crochets of my applique. Again, thread your needle through those two, only grabbing the back layer and pull through. I leave it slightly loose as I work. Once I get further along, I'll pull it a little tighter. Again, grab the top two layers of your background piece and pull through. Continue to rotate, working from back to front. As you rotate, you might have to grab one strand from one row and another strand from a different row, and that's, that's fine. Once this technique, you get it down, you can actually work it much quicker grabbing them at the same time. Grabbing the two stitches from the back layer and then immediately the back or the front stitches of your background piece and pulling it through. As I do this, a lot of times I'll sit down and make sure that I've got it in the right placement. And then I'll come down and do a couple more. Sometimes if you're turning and you can't quite get two stitches, it's okay, just grab one. You don't want to pull your piece one direction that it's not supposed to go. When you're done, go ahead and secure your knots just like you typically would. I'm going to stop here just for the sake of the video. I've sewn halfway around from here to here. My piece is secured nice and flat. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not stretching. It still has its nice shape. However, when you turn it over, you'll notice you can't see any of the stitches from being sewn together. And that's the way I invisibly attach my crochet pieces together. I hope you found that helpful.